What's up Taurus? How's it going? I hope everybody's having an amazing weekend. We are going to get right into your reading. Um, take what resonates. Never force anything to fit. You know this already. Most of you always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. I'm going to make it as personal as possible and pick and pull from multiple decks. So do stick around to the very end. And as most of you know, I am giving away two free personal readings this month for the month of May. So <clears throat> if you haven't done so already, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Sam. Welcome. Go ahead and subscribe and leave a rainbow emoji in the comment section of this reading. At the end of each and every month, and it's different what I give away each and every month, but at the end of each and every month, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway and reach out to you through YouTube, but I'll always remind you to check your notifications at the end of the month so no one misses it. All right, we're definitely not taking all those. Archangels, guardian angels, Holy Spirit, universe. Most important messages that Taurus needs to hear. Financial constraints. Almost reminds me of the Eight of Swords. You know, not having enough, feeling a lack, feeling bounded by this or unable to break free from this type of energy. Woman holding a heart. So spirit is definitely coming through saying, you know, what you're thinking about, follow your heart. What is in your intuition? What What is your gut instinct telling you to do? You know, I mean, truth be told, we have 444. Four, four. Things are coming together and you are not doing this alone. Your spirit guides, the universe, they are backing you up. But it's like you have your heart set on something. You know, I feel the lack is there. You wonder if you put something into motion, you know, will you have to support the financial aspect behind you? And you will. But spirit is definitely saying, follow your heart. All right, let's see what else we can get. All right, spirit, what other messages do you have for Taurus? Okay. We have Archangel Daniel, protector of infants and children. The answer is yes. So regardless of what this card is connected to, the energy it's connected to, if you had a specific question coming into this reading, the answer is yes. When you feel weighed down by life or heavy emotions, I will help you reconnect to the wonder and joy of living. Look at that. No, no, 21, 13, never mind. 444, four, four. and then we have a three. We have three, three here. 444. Four, four. Archangel Uriel. See, you are taking a leap of faith. You're freeing yourself up. And you're taking a leap of faith. You've got the divine guidance behind you. I give wisdom to solve complicated problems and help you find solutions for challenging predicaments. All right, give me one second. I want to get my other deck. Where you may be holding yourself back. All right, thank you. Perfect timing. Something is aligning with imperfect timing. I love this. All right, let's get into the tarot and see where this is. Most important messages is that Taurus needs to hear. Like I said, divine timing is a play, Taurus. Look at this. Two major arcana coming out front and foremost. Divine guidance is at play. Something you've manifested. 
I really feel you've been hard at work on you, you know, self-evaluating, thinking about what you want, both in the present, what you've learned from the past, and moving forward, what you still desire to have. And it's like it's coming to fruition. All right, Spirit. I did a reading for myself once. And every card was a major arcana. Every card that I pulled was a major arcana. And I thought, you know what, Spirit? You're right. You got this. Like, I didn't even want to ask myself any more, and ask any more questions. It was like, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. When I tell you there was no minor arcana, and all I could think was, you're right. No need to worry. You got this. I feel like you're making a big decision. And it leads you right to wish fulfillment. What else is, did anything else flip over? No, I don't think so. All right. Temperance. The debt, wow. Taurus, almost just the same. One, two, three, four, five major arcana. You are freeing yourself from negativity. You're freeing yourself up from things of the past. That light bulb is going off in your mind of what you're destined for, of what you're meant to have in this lifetime, and you're moving forward. You're not meant to be on the outside looking in in anyone's life. You're not meant to be restrained back and being held back, even within your thoughts of things of the past or your doubts, your self-doubt. That's You're not supposed to be in that type of energy. You're supposed to grow certain lessons, like grow from certain lessons and move forward, and you are. I feel like an aha moment is happening here. Right, let's see. You have the star. Wow. Whatever it is that is weighing on you, <clears throat> get ready for this brand new adventure. What you're worried about, what's playing over and over in your mind space, Spirit is saying no need to worry. Perfect timing is completely at play here. All right, Spirit. Why judgment and the magician? The Queen of Swords. Actually, we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So for some of you, you're moving towards a relationship where it's very mentally grounded. Two people following their heart and knowing exactly what they want. Where you may have felt um, restraint or constricted. Or, you know, you go to open the pantry or the cabinet. It's just empty. Like there's not much more for you to be able to give or fight for because you just don't have it within you. You're, you're coming towards your partner, your power person, your power couple. Emotional happiness here. What is this that is coming to fruition for Taurus? There is an offer coming in. There is good news finding its way to you. This good news is faded. It comes with a lot of emotional happiness. Why temperance? The devil. Okay, thank you, Spirit. The Six of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. All right, now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give it to you two ways that I'm receiving these messages. For some of you, there's something that you've been wanting to do, even if it's opening your own business. There's something that you've been wanting to do. And you're worried if you're going to have the support or the finances to do it. Spirit is saying you will. They're showing up 444 immediately. They're showing up through these major arcana. No need to worry. We, you, we are backing you up. But you need to move out of this energy and follow your heart. You see how this person is looking back at the financial constraints. Don't let anything hold you back any longer. 
where self-doubt needs to, like self-doubt will creep in, put it out there to your spirit guides. They will bring in that confidence for you to put this in motion. For some of you, it is meeting that power person, your power couple. And why the star and the three of cups? But there is a wish fulfillment here. The Empress. For some of you, it's you're dealing with an air sign. But this is Aries. I mean, this is Taurus, Libra energy. So this is you evolving to the best version of yourself. You see this wheat that, there, that she's holding. Getting ready to reap the rewards of countless blessings coming your way. Complete emotional happiness. Oh. All right, Spirit, please bring additional clarity. How are you helping Taurus? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups twice. Why is the Ten of Cups here twice? Why is the Ten of Cups here twice, Spirit? There it is. Six, 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 four, four, four. I truly feel that there is someone from the past coming towards you with good news. Now this could be, like I said, someone coming towards you asking you to be a business for a business opportunity, um, go into business with this person, but you could be at a distance from someone that's very special to you. But I also feel that you're moving away from specific things of the past. And that's why you're receiving these countless blessings. You never have to worry if something is from the past is going to catch up with you, catch up to you, resurface in your life. Because what do I always say? What's truly meant for you will never pass you by. You're meant to continue on with your happiness. If someone, if someone or something did not align with you and you were feeling possibly devastation but disappointment because of it, Spirit was obviously redirecting you away from it. Forward movement is bringing in these blessings. Let's see what this is, uh, the Six of Cups. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here twice? Why is the Six of Cups here twice? The Lovers and the Four of Wands. For some of you, it's someone returning. Someone you've already dealt with. Someone that is happening with imperfect timing and it is divinely guided. You find complete emotional happiness within this connection. And like I said, both of you are returning to each other, knowing exactly what you want, making it a power couple. Let me get some messages from your higher self to you. The Taurus spirit. Stop ruminating over what you did or didn't do. Let it go. Stop ruminating over what you did or didn't do. Just let it go. Anything else that you have for Taurus? Taurus's higher self. Listen to your body and do what you're and do what it is asking of you. Listen to your body and do what it is asking of you. You know, for those of you that feel like you're always tired, you feel low energy, you feel like malnourished, you didn't drink enough water for the day. Um, for those of you that have been anticipating, you know, starting to meditate, praying more, get more connected with the universe. It's because your body is telling you that's what it needs in the moment. Do not deny your body of anything. It's your vessel. It's, your, it's what holds your soul and your heart and your mind. It's what's going to keep going. As long as you take care of it, it's going to keep going. Long term. 
you only get this version of you in this lifetime once. You've got to take care of you. Self-love. I really feel that there is someone coming towards you wanting to both forgive the past so that you both can move forward. For those of you going through a financial going through financial constraints, please know that spirit is coming through saying that they're with you, that this is temporary. As long as you put your best self into the situation to make it different, they will show up. I express my creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. I'm telling you, if you rock at something, you have a, um, something that's like a pastime of yours or not a habit. Um, it's like your hobby, hobby, not habit. It's your hobby and you and you, you feel like it, it makes you happy. You want to put it out there to see if it can become a small business, possibly grow into a larger business. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. You've got this. And here it is, my income. There it is. My income is constantly increasing. I begin now, today, to open myself to ever-increasing prosperity. So for those of you that this is on a financial level, follow your heart. You are being divinely guided and there is good news coming in. So much love and light, Taurus.